I was drawn to ballet as an art form because I loved the physicality of it, the technicality of it. I became obsessed with it. The craft of ballet, of architecture in space, understanding how to shape space and time, having as much skill as an architect would have as a choreographer is an endlessly interesting pursuit, you know, for me. I always had sort of aspirations of running my own dance company, just because I always wanted to, you know, felt like I wanted to do things a little bit differently. I had been to LA many times and was always intrigued. I knew that dance wasn't really sticking here. There was no major dance company in the city. And I started to think about building one here. You can't grasp LA all at once. There's this just vast place which is completely chaotic of every era, architecture, everything's possible. It's, it's a complete mess of human life, but I find beauty in that. It is a city where you can still develop under the radar. Frank Gehry says that he was protected to do his thing. Freedom of expression would mean the same. And I think, you know, it's the same right now for us. Dance is having a difficult time because there's less funding. People aren't going necessarily to see performance and have neither attention span or the desire to be challenged by what they're seeing. People want to be entertained for a short time. So my thing is like, I'm not going with this trend, which is not meaningful, but quite the contrary. Thank you.